Hello everybody, it is uh, Desmond2530. So, I haven't recorded in a long while, because of shit. Um, and today I wanted to talk about the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Now, I'm going to be doing a more comprehensive thing. This is sort of just my impressions. As you can see, I am max level. So, this is just my impressions of, you know, playing the game, seeing how stuff feels, etc, etc. Um, there's going to be a few thoughts here and there. But, first things first, I'm just going to go with my overall opinion. As much as people are going to hate me, I really like this game. Time to kill is a bit wonky, with the netcode being a bit wonky. So, sometimes there's times where, like, I'll pull up a weapon, and I'll start shooting, and there's not a hit marker yet, because the bullet won't fire out the gun. But when you when you're shooting, when you are on target... This game really is melty, but it's not, like, unfairly melty. I would say it's similar to 2019. I feel like it's a slower 2019 with a lot more, I would say, a lot more customization you can do. And, hmm, I would say that and the fact that the weapons feel a lot more punchy than 2019, which was the only issue I really had with 2019, aside from, you know, the maps being literally only camp maps for the most part. Um, but with that being said, let's talk about some of the more noteworthy things. New UI. UI in the second version I thought was fine. This is the one you're seeing right now, which is the second version. Um, the first version kind of sucked. Um, minimap, I actually don't have a problem with. I see a lot of people complaining about it. As somebody who's played tons of FPSs and as somebody who's played Call of Duty for years, I actually think it's fine, especially with the way they made the new perk system and how they fixed it this week. Um, I'll get onto that in a second. Um, I do think you could put pings back on the minimap, but maybe make them, um... I would say probably do more like a Black Ops 4 system or something like that, for those who don't know about the Black Ops 4 system. Um, you wouldn't see targets unless um, there was a UAV up or they were spotted by somebody. But if somebody was shooting, you would get a little ping on the map of which direction the shots were coming from. Um, which could even be a baseline perk if they wanted to do it. But I just think that would probably be the best idea. Um... Next up, since we're already talking about perks, let's get on to the perks. Overall, I don't hate them, especially in the second week. The first week, I thought they were awful, but that was because of the fact that not only are the perks extremely... The low-end perks are good, the mid-end perks are kind of decent, but the issue is that it took you, like, a decent bit of time to get them, and most of them were, like baseline stuff you needed, so if, like, you didn't get them and you were getting railed by kill streaks, then you were just dead. Like, on, off the rip. Um. But I think with the increase, the massively increased progress they give per match, now you can get, like, the, the end-off perks, such as Hardline Ghosts and stuff like that, mid, like, you know, decently mid-game in a domination match. In TDM, it's a lot shorter. That was, but now you can, you know, feasibly get them. So, I think that's fairly good, because it means that, you know, at the beginning of the game, you know, if you do well at that very beginning portion, you know, you get your UAV, your UAV will find where people are. But over the course of the game, it becomes a little bit harder, so essentially, the skill required to do well ramps up as the game goes on a little bit. Um, and it doesn't have the issue that 2019 has, where literally camping is the only way to get high kill streaks, unless you are just running at the top of your lungs at everything and spraying around every corner. Let's get on to the guns, because this is where some criticism comes in. M4, the, the M4, um, and the M16, why the fuck is their recoil so high? Like, their visual recoil. Like, I cannot see what I am shooting at half the time. And even with scopes, it makes the visual kick up worse. So, it's just kind of a nightmare to try and do things with. 
Um, I don't really know what else to say there. It's just kind of a nightmare there. Um, the G3 weapons, I feel like, have way too much recoil. Even when you stack multiple recoil attachments on them, they bounce all over the place. Which, while being accurate, makes them completely unusable in a lot of circumstances. Um, specifically, the DMR and the assault rifle are kind of useless after, like, uh, except for in very close range, or if you can get that lucky headshot, which is where the other weapon mechanic that I have an issue with comes in. Why is there so much scope sway? Like, I'm sorry, but 4x scope swaying the amount that they do means that it's impossible on fucking console to sometimes line up shots. Like, you are luck hitting your headshots with most weapons, aside from sniper rifles. Now, do I think it should be similar that way on assault rifles? Maybe. I think they could tone it down a tiny bit for some weapons, and they would work just fine. You know, not letting them be, you know, just laser beams at all ranges. The marksmen and battle rifles, however, have way too much fucking sway. You cannot hit a target past, like, 50 meters on controller, mind you, with, like, a standard controller, which is a nightmare. Other than that, though, gun kills are good, leveling seems fairly good. Um, the UI for selecting what weapon thing should be changed, I think square should be gunsmith. Um, and X should be, like, variants, like it was in Modern Warfare 2019. I don't know, I just found that system a lot easier, and it's kind of confusing now. On to the other big part, which is footsteps. Now, generally I like to play with a, um... Yeah, generally I play with headset, but I actually decide not to for this. Um, and there were definitely some times where I noticed that people would just do shit with, with headsets and just hear you around corners and shit. Um... Which meant that the three best um, field upgrades that I found were useful because of that was Battle Rage, because it allowed you to heal up from fights, so as soon as you killed somebody, you could kill another person fairly easily. You have um, Dead Silence, obviously, and then you have DDoS. Now, DDoS is weird because it not only destroys equipment, but it fucks with their HUD and makes noise. So, it kind of effectively doubles as like a semi-dead silence a little bit, which is great. Um, with that, that's not really, that's really the criticism I have from the footstep side of things. Maps. This is where things are great and bad. So the map you're seeing right now, um, sorry I can't remember the names of the maps right now, I've been bleh. Um, this map is great. You can snipe, you can machine gun, you can, you know, rush, you can camp, you can do everything on this map, and it's fairly effective as long as you play right and you're smart. The other one is Form 18, which I think is atrocious. The one in the, um, the one with all the buses and shit, I think it's the UK where it takes place or something, is fairly good. My issue with it is, is that it's so open that it's kind of hard to move around from place to place because you can just sort of camp the catwalk and shit. And the newest map, the one in uh, the little basalt monolith area, is great. It, I think it's one of the best maps I've played in a while. With all being said though, that's just some basic thoughts. I'm going to be making a comprehensive video later. That being said, this is Desmond2530. Playing Call of Duty Mario for two, and I'll be seeing you guys all later.